Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and today we're going to be reading The Grouchy Ladybug. <laughs> the Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. Let's see what happens. Eric Carl starts the story with a little note to us. Aphids, you see these tiny little bugs? Aphids are very small insects. They suck the juice from leaves and leave the leaves to die. Ladybugs eat aphids. That's good for trees and shrubs and other plants that have leaves. To the ladybugs, I dedicate this book. Three cheers for ladybugs. Here we go, the grouchy ladybug. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left it came to a leaf with many aphids on it. Can you see all the tiny little aphids on that plant? They're all eating the plant and making the plant sick, but the ladybugs will help. So the friendly ladybug came in from the left and decided to have some aphids for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? Mm, if you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other ladybug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back and it looked a little less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on someone a little bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and it flew away. Oh, grouchy ladybug, what are you doing? At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Do you see the yellow jacket down here? It met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? The yellow jacket, oh, if you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, do you see the stinger down here? There's the stinger. I wouldn't want to fight with that. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Do you think that grouchy ladybug really wants to fight? I don't think so, I don't think so. I think the grouchy ladybug is just a little sad and angry and taking it out on the people around him. Let's see, at eight o'clock, oh, can you see? It's talking about different times a day and every time it does, there's a clock at the top of the page that shows eight o'clock, so it shows the time. So it says eight o'clock and we can see that the hour hand is pointed at the eight and the minute hand is pointed at the 12 to show eight o'clock. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Uh, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At nine o'clock, can you see the time has changed? It's changed to nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 10 o'clock, oh, do you know what else is changing besides that clock? There's also the sun. You see the sun changes as the day goes by. It goes up and then down again. Let's see, at 10 o'clock, 
It saw a lobster. It saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 11 o'clock, the time has changed and the sun is rising. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Uh-oh, what happens when skunks lift their tail? They might be starting to spray something very stinky. The skunk started to raise its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. Look how small the grouchy ladybug is compared to the skunk. These animals are all getting very, very big. At 12 o'clock, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. I don't think the grouchy ladybug is gonna wanna fight anyone. What do you think? I don't think the grouchy ladybug really wants to fight at all. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Look, at this point, the grouchy ladybug is trying to pick fights with animals that have eyes bigger than the ladybug. It's picking on some pretty big animals. Whoa. At two o'clock, you see the sun's going down now. And the time is still changing on the clock. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Want to fight? Said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And off it flew. At three o'clock, it ran across a rhinoceros how tiny it is compared to the rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At four o'clock, can you see four o'clock? Four with the hour hand, and 12 with the minute hand, four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Look at it over there. The grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. I don't think the whale can even hear the ladybug. Look how tiny it is. Mm, you're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you! Want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you! Want to fight? But again, it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you! Want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a swoop. Whoa! 
that the ladybug flew across the sea and across the land. Here it goes. Whoa. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back where it had started. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, oh, thank you, said the, well, wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. You're welcome. Phew. Soon, all the aphids were gone from the leaf. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. The end. Great listening, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you find some ladybugs out there. <laughs> See you all soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>